so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code aside so the question for to, for the day is row with minimum number of ones so without wasting any time let us move to the question so the question says that you have been provided with an array with a matrix right that is a 2d array as you can see 1 1 1 1 etc etc right now you have to return me the row number of the row which contains minimum number of one it is said that the matrix contains like all the cells in the matrix either contain one or contains zero i have to turn the max row number with minimum number of ones minimum number of ones okay so how will i proceed so for this question the array is matrix is one 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 zero 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 one 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 right what are the number of ones in each row? It is four here, two here, two here, four here, right? So what are the minimum number of ones? It is two. In which row it is occurring? Two is occurring here also and here also. Now which row number should I return? Which row number should I return? So it is said if two rows contain exactly same amount of no, uh, number of ones, I will have to return the row which comes first, which comes first. So in this case, this row is coming first. Now. Uh, the consideration is I have to uh, count rows on the basis of one base indexing that is it is not row 0 it is row 1 this is row 2 this is row 3 this is row 4 so what is my answer my answer is 2 why 2 because of this row 2 okay so I hope you are clear with the question and it is time to move to the answer part of it the approach is very simple and there is only one approach today the approach is count the number of row ones in each row and update your answer. So what I will do, I will make my answer as minus one. This will store my row, store my answer row number. I will say uh, maximum, maxi. I will say mini, sorry, mini. And initialize it with int max. So it is a common practice, right, int max. Now, I will say for i going from zero to n. n is the number of rows. n is the number of rows. Number of rows and for each row I will initialize uh, a counter right 0 to n minus 1 sorry I will say cur is equals to 0 for the number of ones in each row then I will traverse in nested loop from 0 to m minus 1 where m is the number of columns that is 1 2 3 4 so m is the number of columns now what I will do is if this a that this matrix i j is equals to equals to 1 in that case I will increase my counter that is cur plus plus right and after this loop ends i will have the number of ones in each row in this row right if i'm traversing in the first row right now right for the ith row i will update my answer only if my cut is less than mini why not less than equals to because i told you that row 2 is my answer because row 2 is occurring first right row 2 is my answer because row 2 is occurring first for the same reason for the same reason if my cut is less than mini i will say update my mini that it will become equals to cur and my answer will now become not i it will be i plus one why one because we are taking uh, one base indexing row one row two row three row four right okay and after all of this i will just say return answer this is my approach this is my only approach right this is my only approach so what is happening i initialize my mini with int max so it is containing a very large number for the zero row, my cur will contain four for the first row my cur will contain 2, for the second row contain 2, for the last row it will contain 4 and it will get updated here and will not update here, not up here and it will get updated here also, right? Okay, so it's time to move on to the uh, code right now, right? Because this question is really easy, uh, I just need to tell you the brute force approach because there is only this ex one existing approach, right? So let us move to the coding area. Alright, so before starting the code I would like you to request to... Uh, subscribe my channel if you're new here and do not forget to like the video right so let us start so my answer is minus one currently and my main mini is equals to int max right I will start traversing for int i going from 0 up till n that is the last row i plus plus my int curve becomes 0 and for int j equals to 0 j less than m j plus plus if matrix i j is equals to equals to 1 in that case only cur will increment and if cur is actually less than mini 
only then cur mini will change to cur and uh, answer will change to um, answer will change to i plus 1 right all right and after this i will say return answer right this code should run fine let us try running it in the meantime please connect with me on linkedin on instagram on any other social platform you want and let us try for the uh, wait for the result so it is running fine from compile run let's try it for submit also hope it would run fine for the hidden test cases also so it is the counter is going up and we have completed our 129 days streak thank you for watching we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy thank you have a nice day